the Washington-based Environmental Working Group released a study ranking the quality of water supplied to Reno residents as the fifth worst among U.S. cities. Could this be true? Mr. Himes' fourth grade class wanted to know. Easy check of website proved report wrong. On January 31st, you printed an article about the study that claimed Reno's drinking water is the fifth worst in the country. Our class did not like that you printed this article without researching it. We would have liked to seen the evidence that our water is so bad. You didn't even list the dangerous chemicals. We simply googled this and found that this report just isn't true. This took a group of fourth graders less than five minutes to do. The Truckee Meadows Water Authority website had a report that showed our water to be very good. We also found the Environmental Working Group tested well water before it was treated. Your article scared us for no good reason. Next time you copy an article from another source, please make sure you check your facts. It's going to be hard for us to trust you in the future. Mr. Himes, 4th grade class, Bailey Charter Elementary School, Reno. Hi kids. Hi. Hey, welcome to Chalk Bluff Water Treatment Plant. We give tours like this to a lot of uh, groups and a lot of classes, but this one's a very special class and it's, it really, really is. And what happened a couple of months ago when you kids saw a report that came out and it said that Reno water was not good water, right? It said it was one of the worst. You guys did something that was great. And that's something that was great was you asked the question, this doesn't, you, you said, this doesn't sound right. So you questioned it. You did something really good. You questioned that. Instead of believing everything you read or heard, you questioned that. So what you did was awesome. So this is Chalk Bluff Water Treatment Plant, right? This whole thing? This whole thing. This is the main source of drinking water for all the Truckee Meadows right now in the winter. This plant is making drinking water for over 320,000 people. This plant's been around since about 1994. Whoa. Yeah, that's pretty old, I know, pretty old. We're gonna take a little, little walk up a little hill, all right? This is the first step in the process. Behind us is a big canal. It's called the Highland Canal. That comes from seven miles upstream. You see how dirty the water is? Yep. Yes. Okay, remember what that looks like. Yes, sir. Question, is this the water that the Environmental Working Group tested? Yeah, you guys, you see how dirty the water is. You know that EWG tested water that should have been treated but wasn't. That's the water similar to what they tested, okay? That's how dirty the water was. That's why the numbers are so off. And that's what you guys found out. So fourth graders, they tested this water. And then they said that this is what comes out of our sinks. Do you think that that's what comes out of our sinks? Definitely not. Every three hours, we walk around and we take measurements of the water, OK? To make sure it's clean. Every three hours. This is one of our sampling stations. Okay, you see how clean the water is? Yeah. Is that clean enough to drink? Yeah. Not nearly. Oh. We've removed about 95% of the dirt up to this point. All right? Now we've got to remove the last 5% in the next step. The water starts at the top and goes down through 54 inches of anthracite coal and they go through 10 inches of silica sand. Right now we're making 57 million gallons of water a day. Whoa! Okay, right now. That's a lot of milk jars. 57 yes. million. What did you think about the water treatment plant? I liked it. It was really fun seeing all the water nice and clean. It was dirty and then clean, so when we went over there, we saw a lot of details about the water. Yeah.